we were we were close. Like we did This was a duo pretty close to a full clear seed. Ah, that's a trap. That's a trap if I ever did see one. We got red pokies in here. That's that's pretty cool. I'm down with some red pokies. Oh, that's something I just need to stand on. I have been out of a drink for the past three hours and just parched. But I don't want to get up and pause recording. The problem with doing a randomizer, I know I'm saying this at the end of, of recording. The problem of sitting down and doing a randomizer is that you never, ever, I don't need to check literally anything else. So one rune key to get in here. If I can just get to, don't break that. Three rune keys. Did I only need... Was it only three required? Yes. Only three rune keys are ever required. And this also goes three points, four points, infinity points. If I'm thinking triangle, square, or diamond, circle. That's how I always remember that one, mnemonically. Um... Where was I? But yes, the problem with doing a randomizer is that if you step away, if you gotta put a randomizer down and then come back to it later, you're gonna forget, like, your working memory is shot, and probably your memory of what you did on the tracker is shot. Like, you kind of basically want to do a randomizer in a single sitting. Which is why doing a three-people multi-world randomizer, or four-people multi-world randomizer, is a goddamn nightmare. Just begging for terror to happen. Because that's that's 12 hours of your life you're not getting back. So, when sitting down to do the Paper Mario randomizer, I wanted it to get trolly. I wanted people to see just, like, everything spattered everywhere. And we, I feel, I feel like, honestly, we got about as everything spattered everywhere as possible in this seed. There was, there was, there was some nonsense. There was stuff locked behind star pieces. There was, I'm, I'm happy. I'm happy with how this seed turned out. It wasn't too hard. It wasn't too easy. It was just the right amount of difficulty. Maybe like difficulty spike up front. If I'm being honest. I can't just outright, well, well now, hold on. This'll do. That does not kill his uh, things in the back that he can throw, unfortunately. Um, it was a little difficulty spike up front, but we, we powered through it. We, we cowered it out. If if the prologue wasn't as, as hard as it was, I guess we would have had an earlier, like, opening up instead of scouring. But we had, we had a moment of scour. We scoured everywhere we needed to, and we continued to scour as we went until we hit go mode. And now we've hit go mode, and now we don't need to scour. So it's fine, it's fine. Feel like, I feel like a solid eight hour rando is pretty good. Like it's not, a, like a Super Metroid rando, you could probably knock out five hours if, if you're if you're skilled. Like as trolly as it gets, no Super, super Metroid rando is gonna be longer than five hours. Link to the past, maybe? Maybe it pushes it? I don't know. I uh, Those are the ones that I haven't extensively done. And again, a, a Mario 3 rando, I've got that race down to like an hour. <laughs> don't worry, we can race a Mario 3. Check out Let's Racing Time if you need to find that information. Which I really should update my like personal bio with all the Let's Racing Time links and that, but I already haven't done that. Well, I've already done that by the time this airs because I'm gonna go and do that after I'm... After I'm done, refurbish the YouTube channel. It's in need of a little bit of a an update, I think. Gotta put up a nice new banner. Feel, I'm feeling a banner change, you know. Yeah, send me up. We knock, we knocked that out, no problem. 
didn't do any of the checks there. And yeah, Koopa Village, which turns out is at the top of Shiver City, or the Koopa Bros Fortress, the first, the first dungeon in the game rolled into the last dungeon spot in the game, and we still don't have Goombario, or upgraded Goombario for that matter. Like, it's just, it's fine. It's fine, nobody worry about it. Everything's fine. I just saved because I got a star spirit, so we're good. And I still got plenty of backup spirit. And I, I guess, you know, I'm saying it's sub eight hours. My recording says that I'm pushing seven hours, which is a long ass time to be recording a single file. I know I'm asking for disaster, but we still have Bowser's Castle, which is not a pushover of a final dungeon. I think, personally, it has a better progress as a final dungeon than the Oh, you guys are here now. Huh. You guys showed up. I'm not gonna be able to kill the rock guy in one shot unless I can do five damage to all ground enemies. Which I can do with Bombette. I can do seven damage to all ground enemies. Bombette is just the way to go by the look of it. Oh, and you do, oh no, not extra damage because your bomb is not technically fire. But it was doing more damage to the fire guy. Man, I don't know. The weak, weak, ugh. Weaknesses in this game are weird. Well, I got a first strike. I did get a decent amount of XP from that, and I can save on doing a Quake by just having Bombat take care of you guys. Yeah! We're fine, because I do technically still want levels, because Bowser's not gonna be... I mean, I, I cheese strat Bowser, right? Like, we we know that I'm cheese stratting Bowser. No one here is looking at that 10 health and and anything else and thinking, well, he's gonna play it fair. No, no. Did I not get the panel here? Oh, I, because I never picked up the mushroom. It didn't register. Right, okay, that's fair. We've got, we're climbing the mountain to the train song. A song that I normally skip because it's so derpy. I don't mind this train song as compared to the the song that is the Star Power theme remix. I don't know why I did the check for the for the ground panel, because again, we're go mode. I don't need to be doing checks on anything. We're, we're good. I don't need to do checks on that. Well, if it's right there, and like I I might, it might be an item I would like. Might be an item I would like. Same with that one. God, I can't get away from it. But I've got like all of the all of the badges I could possibly want. Really, do I have all of the badges I could possibly want? Yeah, basically I got all the badges I could possibly want. Badges, unfortunately, really screwed me in this one. I couldn't get overpowered really easily. Uh, you. I'm not worried. You and I go by the way. I know you then then you. Oh. Yeah, you're aggro, you're the big. That's how that goes. Yeah, we go way back. It's really funny when you do that after you just found him for the first time. Do have to kill everything here. That is required. Because there are two. There are two camics. And that's always a danger. I selected the... Shit. I selected the right picture? Which was the wrong star because of the... <sighs> God bless you.
Wow, fucking great. What shenanigree, like, are you guys gonna pull? God, I'm doing all the damage. I don't mind being able to do all the damage. How long is that gonna last? And I'm mad that I didn't target the right guy. I'm, I'm fumbling this. Fumbling this hard. Thankfully, you guys aren't doing any damage, so realistically, I'm not wasting my time. Realistically? Yeah, do nothing. Because you can't hit me for any damage right now. Bombette's little ponytail does not actually affuse light like other bob which we haven't seen yet, but we will- Oh, hey, I just noticed we hit 999 coins at some point there. So, uh, whoops. Hey, level up block. I guess that's why I should be exploring places still, theoretically. Um, Paracary, how's your full screen clear do? It's not going to be as good as Bombat doing seven to a full screen. Air Raid, it's only four. It's not... It's not the worst. It could be better. It's not the worst. Do I want that? Yeah, kind of, honestly. You can take a dried mushroom. Nice. Do I want that? No. Do I want that? No. We don't need it. Power Rush. How does Power Rush work? Oh, badges. When Mario is in danger, his attack power increases by two. So I could go Danger Mario mode now if I wanted to. I could, I could pay what's his nuts to do that for me, which feels gross. I don't know why I'm checking over here. God damn it! Well, that's why I'm checking over here. Um, yeah. So one thing is is that the the stats redistributor gets to be a lot more um, useful in seeds where FP plus and HP plus cost less than three, unlike my seed where it costs more than three. Because you can drop, you can drop FP and HP and then just turn around with your added BP and boost them back up to what they normally were and like have saved on the deal. It just friggin' works. Just straight up, and there's no downside. Okay, mister, let's storm the castle as fast as possible. Peach's castle music, eh? That's what we're going with? Mario 60... Whoa, right. You guys... Huh. I don't have any bastard who will jump on people's heads except for sushi. Well then. That's goofy. I wouldn't even be able to kill them all anyway, so might as well do it this way. If I, I was like, I was thinking like, do I power bomb or not? But no, 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 I can't. I gotta realize that like, I'm in decision paralysis. So I'm not talking through what my thought process is when I'm making these decisions. Oh, and this castle is where I will make up my, my last level up, which will give me the last BP I'll ever get because I think it caps out at 30 and then we're fine. Okay, one fortress key required. You guys I can fight, if need be. 
But need doesn't be. That's bait. That is absolutely bait. That is trap. We don't need that. Screw off. Oh, and the Ninja Turtle, that one was blue. It was a deeper shade of blue than I normally would be. Don't need that Ultra Mushroom. Don't need the Hammer Charge, sorry. We don't need the money, we don't need nothing else. Uh, your... No, I need to go... I need to go through this room. Right, fighting you, you drop something normally. But I super don't need that here. I don't need to fall down and fight the fight that's down there for the refresh. Nope, we're good. Just go through the door. Ooh. Another key ended up using. Damn. Yeah, I think you do need all four keys here where you only needed the three in the pyramid. Oh, why'd I do it this way? I don't need to do it this way. Like, it's a, it's a, it's a waste of time, but, like... I think me flying across here is faster than having Cooper. Although, you need Cooper to get here, but not if you have Dungeon Shuffle on. Right, the routing in this gets so weird with dunge Dungeon Shuffle. I was like, Cooper, you need him to get across the bridge to get into here. No, you don't. This could have been anywhere. Aw, oh, see, I love, I love, because when I first, so Dungeon Shuffle wasn't a thing, uh, Power Up Shuffle was, or, uh, like, item. Oh, no, you do need all four. And then that just gets me bonus? No, this is, this is just for backtracking. That would have got me what was in the cage there which we, we don't need. And then all of that to raise this. Yes, 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 yes. Um, the pageantry music is getting to me. Mario, this is, this is, you want a cup in Mario Kart music. Or end of Mario 62. Oh, I accidentally ran into you. I'm so sorry. I, I guess, I guess you can still do this. Oh, no, you can't. You didn't flip him. That's a bummer. Right, because I have all or nothing on now. Which, little spooky, but I've already beaten the bosses where I was a little iffy on being able to get all or nothing. It's just Lava Piranha and no, it really is. It's just Lava Piranha. Lava Piranha is the one that I get super squigged out on every time. It's the bouncing, and it's closer to the top of the screen, and I'm just, just bad at it. Just bad. Are you gonna do? Are you gonna do the fire music now? What's your, what's your thing? Oh, we got nice looking. We got nice looking. We got yellow, blue, Cheeto dust, orange, and kind of like a dirty red. Ooh, I like it. Um, I'm here. Oh, this is the flying to the end. Uh, that's a trap. This is flying to the last dungeon. Well, then I wonder what flying to the last, I wonder what flying to Bowser's castle is going to sound like. Ooh, yeah, you guys. Oh, those. So this is, bullet bills technically don't count as, technically don't count as floating. Ow. Ooh, yeah, you do all the damage, my man. Let's not get hit by another bullet bill. But let's use these bullet bills as an excuse to level up. Ah, so close. So close. And yet...
Hey, I don't mind getting the levels off of these guys. Now, this would have been the place to do the power leveling. I guess we really only needed the one, the one, uh, block. Well, no, you'd be doing six damage instead of seven, but still, it's not bad. It's not bad. That's it for BP, and I don't know if we're gonna get another level before the end of the game. I would doubt it. That also refreshed my star power after that stupid blunder. You guys... Don't mind. That's the quick way to do that. Oof. You have all the resistance, though. I might get a lot of... Oh, no. You guys aren't going to shoot out anything. I was going to say, I might get a lot of experience if they manage to shoot out six bullet bills, or I guess three bullet bills, but... No. No, 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 no. Let's see how stupidly... Actually, you know what? On second thought, I was gonna say, let's see how stupidly powerful the Koopa Bros are when they're this high scale. Um, Cause like their spin damage, I've seen it when it wasn't this high scale do like seven, eight damage. It's stupid, it's stupid. Let's not, let's not do that and say we didn't. Let's chicken out. Does using... Oh, wow. Like, end game, you win music. Does using a fire flower instantly skip this phase? I forget. Or is it just that fire flower does more damage to fake Bowser? Yeah, I didn't do that. Okay. Shit. You have defense, I want to say. Bowser tends to have defense, right? Yes. Ow. Just fake Bowser, Mecha Bowser, doing all the damage. I like this throwback to, like, even just Mario 1, where Bowser's minions would dress up as Bowser and cosplay as him in the fortress, because that's not actually Bowser that you kill at the end of every fortress level. I think that's... I think that's cute. The costume. It has overloaded. And you see that they have a picture of Princess Peach in their... In the bottom of their, uh... What is it? Mecha? Paper mache Bowser? Uh, we don't get the actual good music for you guys. We just get... Um... Oh, oh no... Let's turbocharge Mario, who is going to be dead AF in a second. Because this will hit us, and there's nothing I can do to stop it. Get 10 damage, holy shit. This is why we have life shrooms. I didn't even check to see if we had life shrooms. Can I... That should knock them over, right? Can I just do this infinitely because of a glitch? I think I have found a glitch. Guys, we're gonna get that booster item or whatever I needed to in Mario RPG. Yeah, okay. Well, shit. Don't flip up. Yeah, absolutely Power Quake is happening, though. Yes, that was the next that was the next course of action. On that. If you wouldn't mind. Doing what you do best. These guys are no joke. Holy crap. Well, you know what? Give love where love is due. My man. Please have the honors. You were carrying us there for a bit. You still carry us to this day. We haven't forgotten your service. 
56 star points. Holy crap. I'm gonna go get one more level up. <laughs> when we're this close, when we're this close, I might as well, right? Like it's two, it's two battles in the fortress here. Just whatever's right out front, call it a day. Because I kind of want one more level up. I don't think I'll get another level up in Bowser's Castle if I'm just running from fights. There's not that many required. End of a chapter.